Hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and we're going to take a look at pick collage, and I can predict with more certainty than the fact that the Red Sox will win the World Series. You are going to love pick collage. All right, there are 10 features I've got here for you. Moving picks with one finger, resizing and rotating with two fingers, deleting picks by flicking, and we'll make sure we take a look at this list towards the end of the video to make sure we've covered everything. Okay? So for now, let's get started. Okay, I'm loading up Pick Collage, and I'm going to the main menu of Pick Collage, and the main menu of Pick Collage on the bottom allows me to explore what other people have made or make my own. So I'm going to make my own. I'm going to tap to create a new collage, and like other programs on the iPad, I can get them from my camera, from my camera roll, or from the web. So I'll tap to add a photo. I will get photos from my camera roll, which is the second one. And a nice feature of Pic Collage, which is usually spelled without a space, by the way, is that I can click on multiple pictures, and then I can click the word done. The pictures fly in. They have a certain border. If you double tap on a picture, you get to do about five different features. I'm going to start off with edit border, and I'm going to change the border from pink to black, and I'm going to choose, as you see in the bottom right, apply to all, and now I've got my pictures with borders that are black. Any picture can be moved, and if you just tap on it, it becomes the front picture. Any picture can be resized and I'm using two fingers <coughs> to resize the picture. Any picture can be turned and I'm using two fingers and turning to resize and turn the picture both. Okay? You can add text anytime you want. Again, if you double tap you have five choices, but if you tap on the background and you double tap on the background, one of the choices is add text. So notice double tapping on the picture brings up that menu, which are the picture features, and double clicking on the background allows you to add text. So I can type in my text. I can choose the color of the text, the color of the background. I can choose the color of the, picture, the words that are on it. You've got lots and lots of choices here. You can, of course, grab your fonts. While I'm doing that, it's been working with that in the background, and that can be rotated just like your graphical elements. Okay? The beauty of pick collage comes when you go to the bottom left and you choose the layouts. So I've got about six or seven pictures I pulled up here, but now I'm going to change the layout and I'm going to pick a layout and now it will put the pictures into the little slots that I have. They don't have to stay there and you can also take them out. So I can take that map of Texas and I can pull it out and I can decide I want to put it somewhere else and I'll take the map of the world and I'll click and tap and I will if I just hold it in that area it will fill up the frame of course I probably should take it out turn it and then take it over there hold it in that area I think it has to be smaller than the area to hold it in it so I'll make it smaller I'll hold it in that area, and then it will fill up that frame. Okay? To get rid of a picture, I'll get rid of the map of Texas. I just take it, and like throwing paper away, I'll just flick it. I will take the map. I will tap it, pull it, and just flick it. The trash can in the top right is also the undo button. So that if I now press the trash can once, 
it brings back my map of the world. If I press it again, it brings back my map of Texas. Okay, we've covered many of the features, not all of them. If I change the layout, pictures change, and that's such a cool feature that's so useful, so powerful, and of course, going back to having no layout allows you to do all sorts of creative things with overlapping pictures. If you want to crop, so you just want to see the pumpkin without the computer around the pumpkin, if you double tap on the picture, tap, tap, this time you are clipping the photo, option three, and all I do now is carefully cut around it, and then choose done, and now I've got my photo of the pumpkin carved out. I'll go back to having a layout and taking advantage of the feature. When you're all done, and I think we've covered most everything, but let's take a look and check. Move pictures with one finger, yes. Resize and rotate with two fingers, yes. Delete pictures by flicking, yes. If pictures are on top of each other, tap once to bring one to the top, yes. Tap and hold a picture to move it to the back, nope, we did not do that. So let's do that in the second right here. Tap and hold a picture. So if I have this here and I want to move this to the back, if I tap and hold it, it now is behind it. You got it? So I will have tap and hold on the pumpkin. It comes to the front, but if I tap and hold it, it goes behind. Okay? So now we're up to number five. Number six, double tap a photo, edit it. We can crop it. We can edit the photo. Um, what does that mean, edit the photo? Editing the photo means that you can actually do some alteration. So I'm going to pick this map, and I'm going to double tap it and edit the photo. That's different than edit editing the border. Editing the photo means that I can do some things on it, like I do in, in, in Sketch. I can take a draw and I can actually draw an arrow. I can do some special effects so I can make the map look like an antiquated map and it does a whole variety of color effects. I can choose focus which is going to be hard to see, but if I grab that circle and I tap and I do apply, it makes a part of the world, a part of that picture, have bright light and other parts be like fuzzy. So these are a variety of things that you do with the photo editor. And let's get this picture away somewhere. Great. Let's go back to our list and see if we missed anything. Crop, edit photo, edit border. I think I showed you how to edit the border, but I am going to do that one more time just in case. Right, so if I come here, tap, tap, um, that's not a picture, so I don't want that. Tap, tap on Texas, edit the border. We want an orange border, and we don't apply to all, and now we've got an orange border. Okay, so we've dealt with the border. We have set the background, I think. Resize the text. Let's make sure we've got those two done. Resize the text. Just drag it and make it bigger. Set the background. Tap, tap on the background. And whoops, I think that's under the bottom. Change background on the bottom left. And now we've got ourselves a different background. I think I'll go for the balloons. Okay, this is a delightful, wonderful program. And the best is yet to come. We've covered all the features here, and the best is yet to come, and that is when you're done, and you've saved it, and you've got your collage, and you're looking at your collage, you now can easily take this, and you can bottom right, 
Take a look at the bottom right. And you can share this. Save it to your library. Sure. That choice that's third from the bottom will save it to my camera roll. But even better, in terms of the Achilles heel of the iPad, I'm going to send it by email. And therefore, it's going to go to my email or my friend's email or my student's email as I like. All right? So this is Steve Bergen signing off on what you will end up saying. Whether the Red Sox win or not, you're going to say this is one of the most useful apps and you can use it in combination with others for projects. All right. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you and bye.